Today's video is going to be another episode of Sona Selects and Rejects. I love these videos. They're basically my beauty favorites and disappointments of the month. Other than that, this is the second video that I'm filming today. The first one was on this look, but it was also like a review of a specific eyeshadow palette. But yeah, other than that, let's get started with this video. I hope you enjoy it. The first product I'm going to talk about is this Bare Minerals Lip Liner. They have a whole range of colors and I have all of them and let me tell you, they are amazing. First of all, I like the fact that it's one of those like wooden pencils you can actually sharpen. The reason why I like those better than the ones that you twist up, that you can actually like create a really beautiful and natural line around your lips, whereas the other ones get a little chunky over time and it becomes a little too thick, you know what I mean? Like you can get really thin with wooden pencils. I hope that makes sense. I love this color specifically. This is the swatch of it and the color is called Borderline. I am wearing it today and I'm sure you guys can't tell, which is why I like it. You can kind of tell right here. I love this for that reason. It creates a very subtle contour for the lips, I guess. And so if you want to make your lips a little bit bigger, but not necessarily show that you have lip liner on, I just absolutely love it for that reason. The next product is by YSL. It is Rouge Volupe Shine Lipsticks. And the color that I specifically love is number 44. And it's basically 65% oil. And so it feels more like a hydrating lip balm. I love the scent. It smells like mangoes. Oh my God, I just put a little bit of it on my nose. And it's got a lot of antioxidants, so it's really, really good, especially in the summertime when you don't feel like wearing a lot of heavy stuff on your lips. And I will swatch it, of course. This is what it looks like. As you can see, super high shine. It's just so beautiful. I love the color so much. So the last lip product is by Estee Lauder. It is their new lip gloss, Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy, and this is number 210. The reason why I love it is because it is not a sticky lipstick or a lip gloss. It's more of a comfortable, creamy formula. And so I um, today I have it over that Volup Shine by YSL. And so this is what it swatches like. It's like really, really high shine, as you can see, especially next to like these two. The colors just go so well, right? This is the combination that I have on my lips. Well, it's got tiny, tiny amount of pearls in them. Like you can see the pearls when you look at it. It almost looks like a metallic lipstick, but it does not go like that on the lips. It goes on really subtle, creates a really beautiful shine. It does say that it's more of a plumping lip gloss. I have to say, I didn't really feel that. I've just been absolutely loving how comfortable it is to wear every day and just the color combination. So pretty, I absolutely love it. The packaging is really cute too. All right, next I'm gonna talk about my favorite highlight and contour stick. These guys are just not going anywhere, especially now that Kim Kardashian launched her own. I don't have that one, but a lot of people have been really enjoying it. But anyway, this is by Pure Cosmetics. This is what it looks like, and it is the Cameo Contour Dual Ended Contour Foundation. And they call it foundation because you can technically use this as a foundation as well. I wouldn't use this as foundation unless like I was out and about and this is the only thing I had. Because the thing is, is like you have to have your foundation shade in order to be able to use it and this is more of like a highlight and contour shade for me but I just absolutely love the color I think it blends into the skin so beautifully that's the color of it and as you can see like I don't know for me it's just perfect so I literally just put it on the hollows of my cheeks and then I will just blend it with my fingers sometimes with the kabuki brush and once everything is done it just looks like I've got like a natural sun-kissed glow on so that's kind of why I've been liking it because the formula is super super creamy blendable such a rich formula I absolutely love it so if you guys are into like highlight and contour sticks, I'd give this one a try because it's really, really good. Next, I am gonna talk about my favorite primer of the month. Seriously, if you've never tried the Hangover Primer by Too Faced, you gotta try it. Unless you have really, really oily skin, you might not like it, but if you have dry to normal skin, it is such an incredible formula. It's got coconut water, probiotic-based ingredients. It feels like you have, you have moisturizer on. That's how creamy and lightweight it is, but then when you put it on, it doesn't feel like greasy on the skin, the foundation just sticks really well to it. I don't like really creamy and heavy and rich formulas when it comes to primers, just even though I have dry skin and you would think I would like that, but those types of formulas make me break out. For me, this and the Marc Jacobs primer are like my favorites. They're just so good. And so obviously this is a little bit cheaper than the Marc Jacobs one, which is why I'm making this one my favorite. This is actually my second or third tube. I use this 
all the time. I feel like my go-to foundation of the month has been this Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. It's not a foundation, but I don't know what else to call it because it's not necessarily a tinted moisturizer. I feel like it's a little bit more than that. It provides a lot more coverage than a typical tinted moisturizer. The reason why I love this is because it's got really high coverage SPF. It has SPF 30. This is the consistency and it is very, very lightweight, but it's not super creamy. So I like to put this all over my skin, and then I'll go back with a concealer and sort of pinpoint conceal certain problemed areas like acne scars, acne discoloration, things like that. This is a little bit dark for my skin right now, it seems like, but what I do is I put this all over, and then I'll go back and highlight it with the next product that I'm gonna talk about, and I feel like that just kind of balances it out because that one's a lot lighter, and my shade is Desert 6.5. Okay, so the the next product that I've been using like almost every day, it's the Touche Eclat Radiant Touch Pen. It's basically like, it looks like it could be a concealer, but it's technically a highlighter. I use this for both concealing and highlighting. You can totally conceal with it if you don't have a lot of dark circles or problemed areas that you're trying to conceal, because I will tell you it is very, very lightweight and it's not gonna provide a lot of coverage. So this is what it looks like. Again, it's not a new product. I've talked about this and used this on my channel throughout the years. The shade that I like to use is 2.5, and basically it's like a pen. So you click it, and then a bunch of product comes out. So I like to just literally apply this on the nose, just around this area, this area, high points of my cheeks and forehead. Um, now I look like a funny person. And I just like to blend it in to my skin. Just like that. It provides such a beautiful sort of highlight to the high points of the face. I've just been really enjoying this. So that is all for my favorites. I do have one disappointment this month and unfortunately it is by Marc Jacobs which makes me like so sad because Marc Jacobs is probably one of my absolute favorite brands. So this is supposed to be a setting spray. You could use it before your foundation, after your foundation, and it's the Recover Perfecting Coconut Setting Mist. It looks really cool. As you can see, it looks like a coconut milk. <laughs> You're supposed to shake this really, 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 really well because if you don't shake it well, it'll create white patches on your face and then your foundation, it literally just melts. So when I tried this, and I'm gonna try to like demonstrate this because I don't know how else to do it, but let's try this. I don't know, the spray, the bottle, I feel like I have more of, a, more of an issue with the packaging than anything else. Look at that, you see that? Especially when you don't shake it, that is a white spot. It makes you look oily, which is so strange. Like it's not supposed to do that. If I didn't shake it, you would see white dripping on my face. So I was so disappointed, like I don't know what happened. I'm sure the formula is good, but maybe not as a setting spray. I love Marc Jacobs and I love their product, so it's totally okay not to like one thing. Other than that, I think that's it. I've covered all of my favorites and one disappointment for the month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, check out the blog for a complete list of the products. We spent a lot of time on these blog posts. We do like charts and all sorts of things, so it's really helpful. And all of the products are there for you. Just click on, check it out, check the link, read more about it and all of that stuff. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.